Here's a quick walk through the weather outlook. I'm John Lewis, a senior forecaster here at the National Weather Service here in Little Rock. By now, I'm sure you've seen the forecast for this upcoming winter, December 2016 to February 2017. This comes from the Climate Prediction Center. And the forecast calls for uh, warmer than average uh, conditions here in the southern United States, including Arkansas. And if there are going to be any colder than normal conditions, they would be up north from the upper Midwest uh, to perhaps over into the Great Lakes. As far as precipitation, drier than average conditions across the southern United States and wetter than average conditions across the north. I will say that both forecasts for temperature and precipitation are classic. This is what you would find in classic La Nina years, which means that uh, when we talk about La Nina, we're talking about temperatures, uh, water temperatures cooling along the equator in the Pacific Ocean. And these, these patterns, or at least this particular forecast for this winter, is something that you would see more often than not in a La Nina year. A lot of times, though, the, the forecast doesn't turn out to be classic. It does not follow the classic pattern. For example, last winter we had strong El Nino conditions, which means that it's kind of uh, it's a flip-flop of what you would expect in a La Nina year. So temperatures across the southern United States should be cooler than, than average, and precipitation should be a little bit uh, above average. And we kind of met that last year or last winter, precipitation was actually a little above average, almost an inch above average here in Arkansas, but temperatures were not uh, below average. As a matter of fact, it was a mild winter 2015 through 2016 by four degrees here in Arkansas. This is what we had earlier in the year out in the Pacific. We did have a strong El Nino going in February. Look at these red colors along the equator. But by the time we got into April, a lot of that was gone. So temperatures were actually cooling uh, along the equator. And as you headed into the Eastern Pacific, water temperatures were actually cooler than average. So La Nina conditions were starting to develop in uh, April. And heading into the summer, the models thought that the temperatures were going to continue to cool into La Nina category, not by a lot, but at least a, uh, a weak La Nina was expected with temperatures a little bit below average heading into this winter and then maybe into the early spring before returning to neutral or where temperatures along the equator are closer to average. Now looking at years in Arkansas where we, this, is, would, this would be not looking at just La Nina years, this would be looking at years when we transitioned from El Nino to La Nina. And we found five such years, uh, five such winters, 1959 and 60, 66 and 67, 83 and 84, 1992 and 1993, and then 2005 and 2006. And in those winters, the temperatures weren't exactly mild. As a matter of fact, in four of the five years, the temperatures were actually a little bit cooler than average, with one year, 83 and 84, actually being a fair amount below average, almost five degrees. 2005, 2006 was the only winter where we had above average temperatures. Breaking it down a little more, uh, in December of those years, uh, we had uh, started off with temperatures that were fairly close uh, to average, except for this one year, 1983, where we were almost 12 degrees below average. But throwing that out, temperatures pretty close to average in December. And in January, maybe a little bit above average. And then by the time you got to February, we cooled off. So if you were to look at those winters overall, just kind of close to average, maybe a little above average to start, and then cooler average, cooler than average to finish. This is what it would look like graphically across the United States for those particular winters. And it was actually warm across much of the uh, northern U U.S. from the upper Midwest through the Great Lakes and New England. A little bit cooler than average here overall, and then even more cooler than average out in the Rockies. As far as precipitation during those winters, and we're looking at, at the same five years, 
uh, precipitation in general was a little bit maybe above average in three of the years and then well below average in two of the years. Breaking it down a little more, December and January, well, December in those years was actually maybe a little bit above average overall. And then by the time you got into January and February, that's when you kind of dried out in those years. So it starts off maybe with a little more precipitation than, and then not so much as you work through the winter. Graphically across the United States, pretty dry in those years from the Ohio Valley back through Arkansas and uh, into Texas. A little wetter than average out in the Rockies and out toward California and also along the East Coast. One thing to look for in the winter, other than El Nino and La Nina, we have other drivers uh, that uh, affect uh, the patterns in the winter and one of these is the Arctic Oscillation and we very we very well may have that this winter. In a negative phase of the Arctic Oscillation the pressure toward the North Pole is uh, a little higher than, than normal and lower than normal by the time you get down into our part of the country. What that does is if you have counterclockwise rotation around low pressure and clockwise rotation around high pressure, if weather normally moves to from west to east, this type of pattern slows that down. So cold air across tries to blow across Canada, but it really can't. It gets all bottled up. You have weaker westerlies, and if the cold air has nowhere to go, it ends up coming into the United States. And this is where we get cold patterns here in Arkansas. This would be with the negative phase of the AO. Well, in Arkansas in 2011, which by the way was a La Nina year, it got rather cold. And in February of 2011, uh, we had uh, quite a bit of snow, one to two feet in the Ozarks of northwest Arkansas. By the time you got down to Little Rock, uh, you had six to eight inches. So a big snow event. We started off that winter uh, with uh, below average temperatures. It was cold to start with, but by the time you got later uh, in the winter, the AO, which was negative, became more positive and we warmed up and we had a tremendous amount of severe weather in, uh, in 2011 to finish the winter and to head into the spring, which brings up uh, La Nina winters here in Arkansas, which tend to be active. Uh, if we if we get the La Nina that we're expecting, this is something to watch for. Uh, our most active years are when La Nina has been present. So in 1999, we had 107 tornadoes uh, that year, which was our most active year on record. 2008 was another La Nina year with 81 tornadoes. And in uh, 2011, which I just mentioned, we had 75 tornadoes by the time all was said and done, which was the fourth most active year on record. Not only do La Nina uh, uh, severe weather uh, seasons, uh, are they more active or tend to be, they start earlier. So instead of having a typical uh, March through May severe weather season, sometimes they start as early as January and February, which was the case in 2008. We had this big Super Tuesday tornado on February 5th, which covered uh, seven counties uh, from northern into western Arkansas, a 122 mile track, uh, which was a record. So the bottom line for this winter, while climate records indicate a chance of below average temperatures this winter, and that's the data that I just showed you. Most guidance does suggest a mild period, and that's what the Climate Prediction Center is, is predicting uh, with a mild winter here in Arkansas. There is some hope for appreciable precipitation this winter and not dry throughout, as we looked at in some of the climate data. And if the AO, uh, Arctic Oscillation, goes negative, or we actually have a La Nina, that could mean more cold than expected. The cold would be with the negative AO, or more severe weather than expected, and that would be with the La Nina, if that in fact develops. If you have any questions, send them my way. Send them to john.lewis at noaa.gov, and appreciate it very much. Thanks for listening.